Hello and welcome to our first session of Tool Talk. It's Amber Tool and Heather Yance. And we are so excited to bring lots of information to you about health, fitness, nutrition, and also hilarious client comments and experiences. Our life is hilarious. <laughs> yes. So whether you are someone who loves working out or you are a fitness professional, we hope you'll find something that you love in our podcast and will like and subscribe to us for sure. So we're going to start out today. It's our first time Yay. and you may not know anything about us. So Heather and I would like to introduce ourselves to you, give you a little bit of our story so you can understand where we are coming from and why we do what we do. And then we'll tell you a little bit about our philosophy with our personal training and how we help our clients. So I'll start, my name is Amber Tool. I've been in the fitness industry for 30 years now. So it's 2022 <laughs> and I finally made it to three decades. I started when I was in high school and I worked at the local gym. So I'm from a small town in Georgia called Vidalia and I worked at Serendipity. Like the onion? Like the onions, yes. And Serendipity Health and Racket Club was our big club in town at the time. So I was the front desk girl and lo and behold, one day I come into work and the regular instructor was sick or something, she couldn't teach class. So Miss Diane, who was my boss, asked if I would go and do it. So those poor people, y'all, I went <laughs> upstairs in that room and I did things with them. I, I mean, looking back, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I feel it badly. For, it, it was horrendous. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing, those poor people. But it did spark a love in me. Uh, I loved working at the gym and it made me think you know i think i really want to do this and she actually had me teach some other classes and do some things there so still didn't know what i was doing but it really made me want to open my own gym now my family when i told them that's what i wanted to do they were like absolutely not this isn't a job for a girl you don't want to do that it's not really something that you can be successful at and so i didn't really get a lot of support from home so here i am graduated from high school going off to college i went to georgia southern university and luckily i got my certification to be a group x instructor back then we were called aerobics instructors so i went and got that so thankfully i moved into a space of knowing kind of what i was doing to teach these classes and i taught while I was in school there. I got my degree in physical education and health and I became a teacher and a coach. So I love teaching. I'm naturally a teacher at heart and I enjoyed that for the time that I did it. I coached volleyball, cheerleading and tennis. And then in 2002, I decided to get my personal training certification. So once I did that, I started to train people before and after school. I was training a lot of the teachers that I work with and it just was my passion. I knew that's what I wanted to do. I got to the point where I really wasn't enjoying teaching school anymore. And I thought, I can do this. I can do this as a career. I can, I can have a living doing this. And so I made the leap, scary as it was. And again, my family was like, you're doing what? <laughs> you're going to quit a job where you get paid every two weeks and you have insurance and you have health insurance and retirement and you're just going to go out on your own? And I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> this is what I want to do. So I did and it was scary. I had a good amount of clientele at the time. And then I worked at a local big box gym and taught classes and trained a couple of people there, but I started out completely in home. And then one day I got kicked out of the local park in town. So <laughs> here I am with my ladies out at Jervy Gant running boot camp like I had done every summer for the every summer since I had first began. And they were like, no more. If you're going to do this, you have to go through, you know, basically jump through the hoops to and be able. pay some yeah, money. Yes, so you got to pay some money. And um, I said, nope, I'm not going to do that. What am I paying for? The bathrooms aren't even open while we're out here. I mean, I don't <laughs> know. Am I paying for air? What, what am I paying for? So my sweet husband 
says to me, you know, we have a room in the back of the office. Would you like to see if you could start there? So I said, sure. I think I would. So we go and look. Luckily, his business partner, Jose, was gracious enough to let me share the space with them. So I started out in a small room and then we knocked down a wall and Heather came on with me around that time and we outgrew that space and then COVID happened. Okay. We went completely online. Bam. Yes. Kept all of our clientele and actually grew through COVID and opened up in an even bigger space after COVID. And here we are in 2022, we are. growing again, busting out of the walls. <laughs> so we hope to be moving to a bigger space sometime in the future. Yes. And that is my long drawn out story yeah. of how I ended up here. And I love what I do. I wake up every day and want to go to work. And I count that as a huge blessing that I can do that and also change people's lives. And another huge blessing of mine is Heather. Oh, bless So it. you yeah. get to meet Heather and she's going to tell you a little bit about her story and how maybe how we ended up together. How we ended up. It is quite a story to tell. So my story maybe is drawn out, but it's definitely a different path to how I got to where I am today. I had been in a video production job basically my whole life and I get to 40 something and I'm like, I really want something else. And I had been praying and thinking, what else could I do? All the possibilities. So also during this time, I had started walking. Now remind you, I do not have any physical activity per se, sports background. I um, was active, but not really anything um, particular. So I had started walking the dog and you know, that was good. And I felt good about myself, you know, getting up before work and going and doing that. And I thought, well, I could probably run a little. That seems a little interesting. So I tried it. It was not good. It, it was bad. I hurt and I decided this is stupid and disgusting and I don't want to do it again. So I stopped, but then I would continue walking and thinking, I really think that I could run. I just need to figure out. So I stopped. And I did a little research, changed my shoes, started doing some foam rolling to relax my lower body a little bit, and it started working. So I started getting a little bit better. I did the whole C2K5K deal, and that was going pretty good. So I was running, and then I decided to sign up for a 5K, which led me into a whole series that we have here locally. So I started the running part, and I'm thinking, okay, this is good. Well. Here's where Amber comes in. So Amber and I share the same hairdresser, Carolyn Woods. This is a shout out to you. <laughs> we love you, you We do love you and how you just never know conversations with people where they will take you. So Carolyn had heard Amber talking about how she wanted to expand her business. And Carolyn heard me talking about how I was trying running. And Carolyn says to Amber, why don't you say something to Heather about starting some run stuff? And so she did. And I thought, well, this is just the craziest thing. Amber and I did know each other through church before then. So I thought, well, okay. So Amber and I met, I agreed to start the running program and we did some, I had had some races under my belt and some success because I had gone for nothing to running. So I kind of got the gist of it. And uh, so we started our little run group and that kind of took off a little bit. And Amber suggested to me the power of influence here. She <laughs> suggested to me, hey, why don't you get your foam rolling certification? They have that and you could probably teach other people what you learned through foam rolling and relaxing and stretching. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. So I did. And I led my first little workshop class and I was very nervous because y'all are gonna learn this about me. I am not really a people person, but here I am <laughs> doing very people-y things. And uh, so I get to foam rolling and Amber's watching me. She's like, hey, you're pretty good helping people. Have you thought about becoming a group certified instructor? And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no, I had not. But you know, things just start in the back of your mind. So I started working out at the studio and she's like, you're really helping these people and you should, you know, really consider this. So I did it. It was not an easy road for me. But I did it, I was persistent, I had a lot of encouragement and a lot of good teacher, and I got my Group X certification. So I had started teaching some classes, had some very confident and very 
um, committed 5 a.m.ers. We would get up and we would do our thing. And then Amber says, hey, have you thought about becoming a personal trainer? <laughs> You'd be really good one-on-one -on -one with people. And so I did that and here I am. And we started at the studio, like she said, and we have outgrown there and we moved to our new location and we are very surely outgrowing where we are. And I honestly would not change a thing about how my journey has taken me because I feel like I bring to the table that if I can do it, you can do it because I came from nothing to where I am today. And Lord bless it, I am certainly not the physique champion, but I'm definitely stronger and have more muscle mass and have more endurance and I just feel better about myself than I did before. So I know if I can do it, anybody can do it because I'm not coming from an athletic background whatsoever. So I seem to be relatable as far as that goes. So I feel like I have that to offer to the table and we'll have much discussion on different parts of my journey later. Um, but that's that's us. This is us. This is us. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you you have come a long way. Yes. You, there has been a physique change, so yeah. do not oh, sleep well, on that yes. because we do have a before and after we on, do. on our we website, do. and it is pretty amazing. Yes. And I do want to share the little story of I don't know if I've ever told you this when it really the light bulb went off in my brain. Heather was coming to take my classes because that was one of the things that I offered. Because in the beginning, I'm really sorry, Heather, but I, I was like, I can't pay you. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. And But I said, but you can come and take classes for free. I'll train you. You know, so she came in and here we are one day and I can still visualize it. I see it still. We, I was working with the class. They were on the TRX. Heather was on the TRX on the left. There was, I think it might've been Donna on the TRX on the right. And all of a sudden, Heather puts her TRX down, goes over and starts helping whoever it was. And I, it's like my brain, like this light bulb went off and I went, oh my gosh, she's so helpful. She's doing a great job. And I'm thinking, Me but she myself needs and to other do this, business. right? I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why have I not seen this? And so that light bulb went off and I could instantly see it in you that you would be able to help people and to do this. And that's when I, I said to it was probably that day. I was like, you know, you know have you ever thought? Oh, and I love it. I love being able to see people do things they never would envision. Because my family as well, even me, thinking back five years ago, if you would told me this is what I would be doing right now, I probably would have laughed in your face. Because why, why would I? Why? Because <laughs> it was not in my repertoire whatsoever. So I love being able to help people find that in themselves as well. Yes, yeah. that's so rewarding to watch oh, them. And to see their face yeah. when they do something yeah. that like, oh, they thought I they couldn't do. Or that do. they couldn't do before yes. and we've worked through it and now they're able to. And I'll be like, hey, you know, you realize you couldn't do that like two weeks ago. And they're like, you're right, you know. Yes, yeah. it's so amazing to see the body change it and is. the mind change yes. because people have a change in their mindset and how they think about themselves. They become stronger and they realize that they, they have a lot more to offer to themselves than yes. they even realized. And this is a very good segue into our philosophy. That's right. Yes. We can chat so about now that you know a little, little bit, bit about us. And now we're going to talk to you about how the training tool, how we run the training tool. Yes, because I always tell people we're different and you can't understand it until you come in and you work with us. It's not like going to a place and just getting worked out and that's it, you leave. And a lot of places will tell you, oh, we're like family, we have a community, and that is true, mm -hmm. and we have that as well. Our tribe yes. is amazing. Yes. Uh, that is one thing, we draw really great people yes. into our tribe. And of course, our team is fantastic. So we are different, and let me talk to you about how we're different. And Please tell us, the, how know, are we different, I can't Amber? wait to tell you. <laughs> so the biggest thing is when you look at the principles that we stand on, when we look at a client, when a person comes in to talk to us, we are concerned about their overall wellness and health. It's not just about oh, you need to lose weight. Oh, you know, you need to get stronger or whatever it is. And most people do come to us, the majority of them, they don't feel good. They want to lose weight. So in 
the forefront of their mind, that's what they're focused on. But we talk to them and ask them questions, and we're looking at... We're the mind, body, and soul that they are looking to transform. Yes, because it can't just be about, I want to lose weight. There's a right. lot that goes with that. So or much. Or I feel weak and yes. I know I need to strength train. There's so much so more. So much more. So we take into account the person's five aspects of their health. So we look at physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual. And we ask a lot of questions. We talk to people. We want to hear their story. And one of the things that we always talk to them about is also focusing not just on the exercise, but nutrition is huge as well. Whether you want to lose weight, gain weight, maintain, but if you want to feel better and be healthier, you you absolutely, yes, Yes. your nutrition has to be. And we don't starve you. No. So don't think that. We are are all about food. (laughs) Yes, we are some foodies (laughs) over here. Uh, Positive stress reduction techniques, that's a big topic that we talk to with our clients as well, because that is a huge part of your wellness. And it's something, especially after everything we've all been through over the last two years, stress levels are through the roof. And a lot of people are not dealing with that stress. Well, they're, they're using negative coping techniques instead of positive. We focus on sleep because that is absolutely important. We need sleep as much as we need food. (laughs) That is true. (laughs) And then the rest and recovery. There are so many people that come in and talk to us and they just think that you have to be worked to the nth degree, laid out on the floor, crawling out the door, and that you didn't do work unless that happened or you're super sore the next day. And we don't believe in that because we know that programming your workouts in a specific way is what gets you results, not smashing you into the ground every time. So what would you like to add to that, Oh, Heather? boy. I tell you, it's just, it's very interesting um, talking about the stress level and what we've been through. I've noticed, just so you know, that our clients that did stay with us, because like Amber said, we, we like, so I quit, I quit my salary job in January of 2020. Shutdown happened in March. So that was very stressful, even for me. But the clients that stayed with us, and we just went straight to Zoom. So we were able to still work out all the way through the shutdown. We were still able to talk and meet about nutrition. They were able to maintain through the entire process where other people who weren't are now finding the repercussions of not being able to stay um, active or that, you know, they lost their um, jobs or whatever. So, you know, being able to stay active as a group and work together um, through the good and the bad, I think is something that is super important when you're looking for a place to work out because you need people who, I mean, because we all struggle. Everybody yeah, struggles. Absolutely. You need, you need, you know, a misery loves company. So. <laughs> And and typically there is not a moment where people, if they walk into class grumpy, they're going to leave laughing. You know, I mean, we just, we have that, you know, we are family, we're, you know, comrades in war and stuff. And so, you know, (laughs) we're right, right, the war of life. So (laughs) we're, you know, you have that aspect and it's just, it's huge. It makes such the difference. It does. Yeah. And that that we'll have to tell the story. Oh, of, we have stories of 2020 for yeah. sure. That, oh, yes. Yeah, that but, was definitely that'll be a whole podcast yes. by itself. <laughs> it by itself. Very interesting time. But we we want people. You know, our tagline is nothing is more important than your health because you can have everything else in the world, but if you don't have your health, that, it doesn't matter. You can't take care of anybody else nope. if you're not taking care of yourself. You cannot. And a big part of why I do what I do is because I have watched people I love suffer from negative health conditions and not be able to live a complete and full and healthy life. And I don't want that for myself and I don't want that for other people because we can change so much. So much. And it's, it's easy. I think a lot of people think it's daunting, but once you start the process, you'll get to where you don't want to not do it. So it's just a part of life. You know, you just got to get over that initial hump. And then, you know, you can be good to go with whatever comes your way. Yes. And finding 
a trusted professional. You know, I know people come in and once they meet us and they're with us, they know they can trust us. Yes. We're not going to hurt them. Right. We're not going to try to do anything negative with them. We want their lives to be positive. We want them to be a superior version of themselves. So that's yes. what we strive for. We want them to feel and look and just be their absolute best in yes. life. And we are ones that continually educate ourselves in the industry. And as far as fitness and nutrition, we are constantly um, getting new certifications and constantly um, in tune with the educational side of it. So it's not just like, you know, we're haphazardly pulling crap out of the air and <laughs> saying, here, try this <laughs> because this is the latest trend. You know, typically we're not on trend because we know what trends do. They t they tend to tank yeah. after they, you know, have hit their plateau. So we also bring that to the table that we're, you know, without tooting our own horn too, too, nope. we're very well educated when it comes to um, the fitness industry and how we can help you. I don't think you'll find too many more people like us that yes. study yes. and take classes and yes. go to conferences and workshops yes. and we, we take this seriously. That's why yes. we are fitness professionals. Right. So this isn't just a side gig for us. This right. is our main thing. We love it. It's our passion. Yes. We want to we want to spread it to other we people. We want to share it to the world. <laughs> So we hope that you've enjoyed getting to know us a little bit. Hopefully you'll be excited to listen to some of our other podcasts. Oh, we got good ones. Oh my goodness. You don't want to miss some of the crazy client stories we have. <laughs> They're going to be great. And our fitness and nutrition information will be on point. Yes. So thank you for joining us today. Um, we hope that you have the best day and we certainly hope you will tune in again soon. Oh, bye y'all.